Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick gizmo tutorial to walk you through the gizmo that we're gonna use for our initial investigations into absolute dating. Um, so once you get into gizmos, you will uh, look for the Half-Life gizmo and launch it, and it will look like this. And the first thing the diagram or the sheet asks you to do is just to kind of play around with the gizmo for about five minutes, and in the chart below, make a list of observations and questions you have about the process being depicted. So observations could just be things like, Oh, there are this number of atoms, or red atoms represent this, or silver atoms represent this. You can play the simulation and make some observation about what happens. The red atoms do what? What do you see going on? What's happening to the red atoms over time? What's happening to the silver atoms over time? Your questions could be, well, what's this going on? Um, so, you know, maybe a question about what happens if I change the half-life, a question about you know, what happens when there are no more red atoms? Think about things that you're curious about related to this. So take about five minutes or so to play with it. Then we're gonna do some guided practice. So after you've played along with it, you wanna reset it so it's back to what it was at the beginning. Then <clears throat> you're going to um, set up the gizmo. First thing says, choose user chooses half-life and theoretical decay. So if you look back, user chooses half-life probably will already be selected and you're going to change this to theoretical decay. Theoretical just means that everything kind of follows the scientific theory so we're getting the exact numbers that we would want in order to understand the concept. Maybe in real life it's a little more random but we want to start with theoretical decay. Then it says complete the chart below by changing the half-life to the numbers depicted on the table. So right now it's at a half-life of 20 seconds and I've done the first row for you. So if you look here, you have the ability to change the half-life time by moving this slider. We're gonna start with 20 seconds. It says to start the simulation by pressing play. After the half-life time has gone by, hit pause. Now it's not a big deal if it goes a couple seconds past. I'm not super fast at this. You gamers probably are better than me. All right here, so I caught it at 25 seconds. So you'll notice a lot of these red radioactive atoms have changed into daughter atoms. Next thing the directions ask me to do, it says, click the table tab and complete the table below with the number of radioactive and daughter atoms. So if you click table here, it gives you the number of each of these types of atoms over time. We're gonna scroll down to our half-life time, which was 20 seconds, and we're gonna record the number of radioactive and daughter atoms. And here it's 64 and 64. You're gonna go and put that in your chart. Now I already did this for you. You're gonna redo this kind of um, guided practice with each of the following half-life times. In order to do that successfully, you need to reset the gizmo. You need to change the half-life to the one that is asked for on the table. The next one is five seconds. Then you'll run the simulation, pause it, and record the numbers at the half-life time for the number of radioactive and daughter atoms. You'll see a pattern emerge, um, and that should help you figure out what this half-life really is. Then you'll go on to answer three, two questions about what you think half-life is and what you noticed about ha what happens to those radioactive and daughter atoms after each half-life. I hope this was helpful to kind of get you going through on the gizmo.